everybody, this is Sophia. I'm one of your Savvy Health Solution Wellness Coaches. And today we're going to be doing a CSI little 15 minute workout for you guys. Basically what that means, it's conditioning strength intervals. And since we're in the month of May and it's bike month, I have my bike here for you guys. So we're going to add in some of our cardio intervals on it for you. What we're going to be doing is three minutes of bicycle work, followed by three exercises, 12 reps through. You're then going to get on your bike, do another three minute ride, come back, do your next three exercises, 12 reps, go bike for another three minutes, then come back and finish with your final three exercises for those 12 reps. So we're gonna do some conditioning on the bike for three minutes, then we're gonna do some strength with our three exercises, repeating that three cycles through, or you can even do four if you would like, depending on how you're feeling. For the three minute biking part, we're gonna be doing it based on your RPE. Basically what that means is your rate of perceived exertion. So anywhere from zero to 10. Zero, it's super easy. 10 is gonna mean your legs wanna fall off. When you're on that bike, I want you to be somewhere between a seven and an eight on that scale for your RPE. So for warm up, what you can go ahead and do just a little nice short jog, about three to five minutes, just warm your legs up. You can then follow that by some body weight squats. Feet short width apart, weight down in those heels. Pushing those hips back for 10 and 10 arm hooks. So what I did for that warm up was a little three minute jog, nothing too strenuous, just to warm up, some body weight squats, and then I went ahead and finished with some arm hooks. Okay. So you're first gonna start off with your bike for three minutes on your RPE, thinking about seven to eight on that range, and you're gonna do squat thrusters for these. I have my homemade weights here. So squat thrusters, we're gonna squat, I have my weights right here. And I come down, press up overhead as I'm coming up. What we don't want to see is squat, stand, and then press any arch in that back, which I have a nice tight core. So if I'm here, squat back, and press at the end. So we're gonna go do 12 of these, so I'm right here. Squat down, one. Breathe out as we're lifting those weights up. Four, five, six, halfway. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Good. So those are squat thrusters. Now we're going to do bent over rows. So we're going to engage that back. I'm going to hinge on my hips ever so slightly. Weights are going to be down, nice flat back, tight core. Squeeze those shoulder blades together and relax down. Bringing those elbows up past my waist. Really squeeze those shoulder blades slowly lower. And if you notice, I'm adding a little bit of rotation as I take those weights back. Breathing out, little pause, slowly lower. So we'll do 12 of our bent over rows. Then we're gonna go to our chest press. To be working right in here, we kind of warmed it up and opened it up with those arm hugs. Now we're gonna get a little bit of resistance. So you're gonna be on our mat. I'm gonna lie down and have positioned my elbow to waist at about a 45 degree angle. Bring those weights together over chest. Slowly lower, coming down. Breathe out as we're pressing those weights together. We're going to do 12 of these. 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Once we finish all three of those exercises for strength, we're then going to go back to our bicycle. We're going to do that three minute ride for RPE within those seven to eight ranges. Then we're gonna come back to our weights here. We're gonna do that squat thruster again. If you want to, you can even add in a little bicep curl. We have to make that movement a little bit faster, but if you would like, you can. We just wanna have those weights 
up overhead by the time we stand up. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And for our bent over row, squeezing those shoulder blades together, coming back. If you want to do wide, you can kick that grip out. Get a little bit of those rear delts. Squeezing, coming back. Tight core. A little cut at the top. Two more. And 12. Back to our chest press. I'm going to give you a little variation on this one. You can even add in a hip bridge to still work those glutes. This is a little bit more advanced than the one before. What that would look like. I'm down here on the ground. My heels are just going to be out of reach of my fingertips. I'm going to squeeze those glutes and hamstrings coming up. Keeping that position, I'm going to have my weights and do my chest press. Just like before, breathing out as those weights come up. I'm not letting my hips fall. Squeezing those glutes and hamstrings coming up. Start to feel that burn. Don't let those hips fall. And relax once we get to that 12. Now we're going to be on that round three. Same thing on our bike for those three continuous minutes. If this is your last round on this one, I would encourage you to try to be at that nine. If it's your last round, go super, super hard for those bicycling minutes and then come back to our conditioning exercises for strength. So one more time through with that squat thruster. If it's a little bit too heavy, you can just do a goblet squat if you want. Just keep your weights here. Chest up, shoulders back. We wanna make sure that those knees stay out. We don't want them coming in as we're squatting, staying behind those toes. We'll have to use weights on these ones. Breathe out at the top. We wanna to do six on one side, six on the opposite side. You can as well. Add up to that 12. And bent over row. You can switch it up, you can do narrow. Three. Breathe out. Six. And then you can go to that wide grip. Same for four. Breathe out. As those arms are going back. And lastly for that chest press with that hip bridge, which is optional. Another variation for that chest press, you can also do midline chest press, what that would look like. Weights are going to be right here. You're going to keep them together the entire time. Hips up, pressing up through those heels. Four, five, six. Another variation you can do is chest fly, coming out and down. Little bend in those elbows. Coming down, so squeeze those glutes and hamstrings. Breathing out at the top. You want to hold one, you can do six with one arm and switch. Get out and do this up as the mouth as that weight comes up. And once we hit that 12, so you can repeat this cycle as many times as you would like. If you want to do 12 to 15 reps, you're more than welcome to as well. Kind of depending on what weights you have, might suggest your rep range that you're gonna be going on. If they're really light, I would say knock out a few higher reps. If they're really heavy, you wanna go for that strength, kind of keep it somewhere between eight to 10 um, or that 12 range, depending on how heavy they are. So basically what we did, we got our cardio in with our bike, that three, minutes with that RPE of seven to eight. And then we did our three strength exercises in between that. Our squat thruster, you can add that bicep curl in. Our bent over row and our chest press. You could do the chest fly or midline chest press on that. Whatever you would like. 
But since it is bike month, we kind of want to get everybody aware. You can get out on your bike, use that for a lot of your workouts this week. Um, so remember, just have like your proper gear when riding your bicycle. Um, always check your tires and anything like that beforehand so you don't get out there on the road and find yourself in a situation. Um, but thanks again for tuning in today, guys. And like always, remember to do a nice cool down. For this one, um, you can always stretch the lower body out with just some static stretching. I'm gonna come here, have one leg out, reach towards that toe, kind of open up those hips, which is really good. Those arm hugs that we did earlier, really opening up that chest. Those quads are tight, we can take that leg up. Keeping it in and close, stretch it out. For uh, our calves, we can hinge, reach down towards that toe. For any of you guys who are maybe doing a little bit of running, if you don't have a bike, you can totally substitute for cardio just with running. I would probably stick to, depending on how fast your mile time is, maybe a quarter mile. You can do four rounds through of this to equal that full mile. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this workout. You guys get out there on your bikes. And I will see you guys for your next workout. Remember to stay hydrated. Warm up and cool down is very important. See you guys.